It's local edition. I'm Brad Pomerantz in the Los Angeles area today, joined by Noah Margo. He is a trustee with the Beverly Hills Unified School District. And I think it was in November, there was an initiative on the ballot to pass, was it November, to pass a school construction bond? Yes. And uh, Beverly Hills was one of the few districts that did not pass school construction bonds. That is true. Yeah, it needed 66% of the vote because why? Why not 55? Because it, it uh, comes off as a prop, I believe it's a prop 45 or 46 uh -huh. bond, which is when you ha need four votes on the, the governing body, we have five, we have five, so you mm -hmm. would need four to make it a prop 39. Um, and if you have three, then it has to become, it's not, it cannot be a Prop 39. So that point. means if you had had four votes, it would pass with 55 percent. It, it would have passed. Because you didn't, you would need 66.66, and you got 60. About 64. So that's tough. Percent. That must yeah. have been disappointing it, to the it, proponents. It is, and, I, and, and listen, I don't begrudge my colleagues. They have their reasons, and I support, you know, a healthy debate and, right. and understand it. It, it. it cost us the bond this time around. Now, fortunately, unfortunately, our plans for all of that construction have uh, been tied up in the Division of State Architects in the Cal state of California. So it wound up being that we're delayed anyway. Okay. Um, it's as if, uh, you know, you're trying to get house plans, do sure. building and safety, and they say, well, it's going to be another two months. So it's going to take longer. So it, it, it won't have the impact that it would have had if we were geared up and ready to right. go February, which we had planned on being. So now we're going to be a few months behind. It's still going to delay some of the construction, which will increase costs because costs are rising um, exponentially right now. Right. And that's one of the reasons why we wanted to make sure we had the finances on hand to move forward as soon as we had the capital, I mean, as soon as we had the com completed yeah. and approved plans, because everybody now is building. As you know, a lot of those bonds sure. did pass, and all of those districts go through the DSA. That will slow things down for everybody else, makes it harder to get right. the plans out, and, and, and costs will rise. But you're doing some construction still, we because are, I guess back in 2008, Measure E passed. Well, the board was, was smart enough to, I think, approve all of the remaining funds and allocate those towards projects at two, two sites, um, actually do some latent defect repairs at one site, and then really attack the high school and okay. get a major yeah, portion Yeah, the high left. school, I mean, it's a great campus, but circa 1976 maybe in some places? Oh, very much so. I mean, <laughs> right. The original building was built in the 30s, right. um, and much hasn't changed. In fact, we have just completed our demolition and abatement stage of, of that original building, that, the classic iconic building, right. um, which will remain intact. The interior will be redone, sure. but the exterior will say. And they actually stripped all the paint on the outside, and it returned to this beautiful original grayish oh, really? color. So now it hasn't come up yet, but I'm going to be a proponent of keeping that original oh, color. Wow. It's different. It, it's unique. And, and I'm trying to find some old photos of the city to see if that's what it was. But you plan to come back to the voters mm. in 2018. June. And the goal, I guess, is to get at least four votes on the school board. Yes, it is. So that you can get 55 percent. Yes. And, so that and, you can pass it with 55 percent. And I believe that would be a relatively easier thing to accomplish. New uh, board? Yeah. Well, no, 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 not a new board. But for, for some of the reasons that my colleagues that didn't support last year's initiative, um, we, uh, we are addressing addressing those. Mm -hmm. So they should be more uh, amenable to, to supporting it and pushing the construction program along. I want to talk more about the Beverly Hills School District. People move to Beverly Hills just to go to the Beverly Hills schools. Police, fire, and schools. We always seem to right. be third. We always seem to be third on okay. the list. We're trying to be first. That doesn't roll off the tongue. It's right. easier, but we like to be first in people's minds. But what we do know is there's a move um, out of Washington and generally to change the way parents select which school they can attend. That's right. Um, Nevada, I know, for example, has adopted a voucher program where any parent can access about five thousand dollars a year and use it to pay for a private school. Uh, now in California and Los Angeles, 5,000 won't get you much. You know, I mean, these private schools are 30 and $40,000 exactly. a year. But be that as it may, um, we do know that Betsy DeVos, the new Secretary of Education for the United States, is a big proponent of vouchers. Where does a school district like Beverly Hills go with this that has been successful as a public district? Well, I, th I think in our history, um, we, know that most of the students who live in Beverly Hills that don't attend our schools, mm -hmm. um, and, and remember, we're a basic aid district, right. so numbers don't mean as much to us. We're, right. not, we're not trying to get more clients, per se. And uh, basic aid means you means have enough property tax money, money that you take 
from the property tax. You don't go through the it's, state formula. It exceeds the state formula, mm -hmm. so therefore it's not based on daily attendance. So if, if you actually have less students and the same amount of money, you have more money mm -hmm. per student. Even so with the local control funding formula, you still get you the still basic do. benefit? You still do. There's there's hitches in that as well, mm -hmm. but um, um, the fair funding where we have to pay something back to the state. I because, understand. But, but it's still a better formula for us, and, and it will, I believe, in the next five to ten years start becoming more advantageous. Okay. It's been hard adjusting, but we're moving toward that. But so we, we do lose students to private schools in the city, and people obviously yeah. who can move into Beverly Hills can afford to send their kids to right. thirty dollars to $40,000 a year private schools. I don't think a $5,000 voucher is going mm -hmm. to affect that. Um, what we need to do is put ourselves back on par with those private institutions to at least have people who want to move into the city be willing to pay the property values, keep the property values mm -hmm. high to support um, the community as a whole, whether they choose to come to our school or not, uh, isn't really a right. problem. I, I think one of the challenges even a school district like Beverly Hills faces is these private schools, their class size, 15 kids per class. Mm -hmm. And even in Beverly Hills, what are you at, 30? No, we actually are not. We, we max out at 29. 29. 29. <laughs> 29, but is, that's but, double. But even in high school? It is even in high school. Okay. And, it's, and it's smaller. Now, there are some uh, exceptions in high school classes. Uh -huh. If there are students that are trying to get into a class and I there's understand. no more room, instead of opening a class, we can make an arrangement, uh, uh, an MO memorandum right. with the union and be, allow that student to be in the class. Um, and teachers are, are amenable to that because right. they, want, they want to serve the students. Um, we hope that they do. Right. The, the issue that we run into uh, with our class size is we're the smallest in the county. I mean, right. we still are, um, on an average, 20 to 1. Some classes have 21 or 22. Right. Especially in the lower grades. Because our policy allows right. that. Yes, 20 to 1 in the K-3 are, are where we have 29. Most of those classes have 25 students in them. So in, in fourth grade up. So, so everybody else is doing better yes, than, than most public districts. Yes, but absolutely it is. But that really is where, in my opinion, where the rubber meets the road for parents. Also, that, it's also facilities. And we have three schools that are blown out, construction sites. Right. People don't want that. But I, we are confident that when those facilities are returned to a modern state, right. um, our, our newest building in Horace Mann is better than most private schools. Well, and I Beverly mean, Vista, what a beautiful... I mean, you're done with construction there, no? Oh, for Am a I long time, yeah. for a long time. Beautiful. But that's why I bring up Horace Mann, because yeah. they just moved in last August. Right. And, and that's the newest example of what we have in Beverly Hills mm -hmm. to offer. And that would compete with the best of private school facilities. So mm -hmm. when you get the quality education and you get the best facilities, you will automatically but draw people But what's wrong back. with a little competition from private schools? Which vouchers oh, presumably I, would bring about. I think if it doesn't completely decimate the public school system, mm -hmm. it may be something that keeps the public school system on its toes. But you can't undermine or you, you, you can't decrease the uh, giving free quality public education to the people in this country. That, that should be for, we should educate, we always intended to do that, educate our people. You should want the best of your, of your people. Mm -hmm. Most other countries strive for that. We always, they study Denmark, they study Finland, right. they study all these countries that are putting uh, um, everything into their public education. Um, we even in, in, in our public education, we still have funding arms that have to raise extra money to support programs. We in Beverly Hills don't have a parcel tax, don't have a piece of sales tax, mm -hmm. but we do have a powers agreement with our right. city and we do receive extra funds for that. Okay. Um, we've talked about parcel taxes, but it's, it's a heavy right. issue. We'll have you come back. Okay. His name is Noah Margo. He is a trustee with the Beverly Hills Unified School District. My name is Brad Pomerantz in the greater Los Angeles area. Today, this is Local Edition.